All right, so the beach is down there. I'm gonna go up there, go to the shop, get some groceries. Groceries, it's American, isn't it? Get some food. And I don't even know if this is the right way, actually. I'm not sure it is. I guess I'll find out. I mean, it doesn't look like a public road, does it? But I think the shop is just up there. Very good. And then I'm gonna go round there, because I've just seen a picture online of some rocks sticking out of the ocean that I'm gonna go and find. And uh, they look they look pretty cool. They're gonna make some good pictures. Hopefully I'll be able to climb up them and like jump off them. I can't do any backflips yet, but I can try, try and jump in. <laughs> so yeah, let's explore Tenerife together. Big hotels here. It's a very touristy area. I knew that when I booked this, but I still think it's a cool place. Could be good for digital nomads. But I need to get some sun cream because my, my hands are starting to get brown. So I'll get some sun cream, get some food and uh, start exploring properly. I'm not, I'm not sure this is actually a road that I'm meant to be walking along here, but it's a shortcut. It's definitely better than going all the way up there and then down here. One of the things I love about the Canary Islands is that it feels like Asia in a way. The humidity, the heat, but there's no, pretty much no dangerous animals. No snakes really, no spiders. Only a few banana spiders, but yeah, there's no mosquitoes at night. No dangerous illnesses. And it's cheap. Not as cheap as Asia, but it's still cheap. Made it to the shop and get some food. Now the place I want to go to is either behind that building, the rocks are hidden, or it's round there. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to walk, find out. Don't know how I'm going to get down there though. Anyway, food first. All right, what I'm actually gonna do is drop the shopping off first at the apartment and then walk to the, uh, to the rocks, because otherwise, I mean, I've got stuff that needs to go in the fridge, I'm tired, but as soon as I've dropped it off, back to the beach, which is over there. Look at this crazy amount of spider webs here. Okay, we're ready.
the beach I want to go to is literally right over there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it because it's all blocked off and it's hard to get down to the... Maybe it's too dangerous. I mean, it's no more dangerous than the walk I just did, which was like literally one wrong step and you're in the water. But yeah, there must be a way down here. If not, I'm going to have to go all the way around to go tomorrow or something. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way. This is... Oh, no, that's a private thing. It's literally just down there. How do we get there? You wouldn't believe this was Tenerife. That's where I want to get to. Look at that. Down there. It's like a magical beach. I don't think I'm... Oh, wait, the stairs. Please let me down there this way. That'd be so good. I don't even care if it's a long walk down. I just want to get there. Look at that. I don't care how hot and sweaty I am. I need to go down there. I have a feeling it's going to be blocked off, you know. It's too good to be true, really. Can't go through that way. How do we get down there? There's a load of animals on the path over there. What animals are that? Like a goat or something. Okay, I'm gonna try and go down there, see if I can get a better look. Pop a couple of fences and we're on the way. On the way to getting down to the magical beach. <laughs> I can hear all the lizards moving as I walk through the undergrowth here. Big lizards as well, not just the small ones. Not just the small ones. So, I think this path goes on a windy route down to the water. It's a bit of a trek to get here, but the best things in travel and in life, I suppose, are always going to take a bit of extra work. And this is this is no exception. There's caves. Ah, oh, beautiful. It'll be even better in the, uh, in the sunset or sunrise. We'll see. Definitely I'll come here again. Okay, almost there. This is clearly not meant to be explored by, uh, by tourists. But we're going to find out why is it, what it is and why this beach is so empty. And it's also so beautiful. I don't know. We did it. We made it.